money, money, money over hoes, hoes, hoes. We just want that money, that money. Fuck boys. We are not fuck boys, Colonel. Yeah, we aren't fuck boys at all. Wait, what's a fuck boy, Benny? Well, well, well. If it isn't my piece of shit son talking about fucking boys. Fuck you, Mom. And his handsome friend, Vinny. Oh, hey, Mrs. Pepper Snacks, how are you? Moist. And not just because I'm packed in water, honey. Because I'm honey for dick. Mom! That's Vinny and the Colonel. That's Vinny and the Colonel. I've been thinking about that fuckboy comment, Vinny. Just let it go, Colonel. There's nothing we can do. Well, I did some creepy internet stuff and found out where Timmy Pop goes to school. Really? Yeah, I also found out his sister has lupus. Uh, okay. I don't see how that's relevant. It might come up, Vinny. I highly doubt that. Hey, Timmy Pop! I heard your sister has lupus! Who the fuck are you guys? You called us fuckboys on the internet. Move aside, Vinny. I'm about to stab a child. Hey! What's going on here? Money, 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 over hoes, hoes, hoes. We just want that money, that money. You're some of the biggest fuckboys I've ever seen. Have you considered FBBC? Vinny, I think this guy wants us to watch porn. No, it's the Fuckboy Behavioral Center. It's a place where fuckboys like you can go and learn how to, well, how to unfuck yourselves. Here, take some literature. A rehab center for recovering fuckboys? Seems sketchy and made up. Hello, boys. I'm Dr. D'Angelo, head of the FBBC. I founded this center in honor of my late wife, and I've been helping cure fuckboys like you ever since. We are not fuckboys, dude. Well, if you're so sure that you aren't fuckboys, just step on the scale. Oh, that proves it, Vinny. We're fuckboys. I'm going to recommend our intensive fuckboy rehab program. And you think that'll cure us? It's a risky operation, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Now, let's move along. So much fuckery, so little time. Next, I'm going to ask you fuckwads a few questions. Try to answer them honestly. Uh, what are all these wires for? This machine gauges your answers and fucks you in the ass should you fucking answer like a fuckboy, you fucks. Wait, seriously? No, not really. It just shocks you should you answer like a fuckboy. Now, first question. A girl gives you her number. What do you do? Dick, Dick pictures. pictures. Hmm, not surprising. Dick pictures are the lifeblood of the fuckboy. Now, moving on to question two. Your boy asks you if you would like to throw down upon some cocaine. What do you say? Tell, Tell him, him I probably won't do any, and, and then, then ask for tiny key bumps, bumps all night until, until the, the coke's gone. gone. Holy shit, the fuckboy is strong in you two. Now, finally, what do you think of this fashion? <laughs> Disgusting. Psst, hey, Colonel, there's something seriously fucked up going on here. We should go check it out. The pills are working, Vinny. I can feel the fuckboy. It's leaving my body. Oh no, dude, you're literally pooping on the floor. Yeah. Damn those pills that you took earlier from that nurse that I also took, but I spit them out because I'm skeptical of all of this shit. Interesting. This machine doesn't gauge answers. That bastard doctor just shocks whoever he wants to make them think they're fuckboys. Ketamine. Damn it, I knew it. Colonel, you gotta wake up. I was right. This whole place is a scam. Fuckboys aren't even a real thing. Oh, yes, they are. And you're the biggest fuckboy of them all, Vinny. Why are you doing this? Because a fuckboy stole my wife. I thought your wife was dead. Well, she's fucking dead to me. When I went away to medical school, it was hard for my wife and I to communicate. So I suggested we get Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat? No one communicates on Snapchat, dude. They just send pictures of their, like, pussies and dicks and tits and shit. If only I had known that back then! It only took a day before my wife's phone was flooded with cock. She left me, and ever since, I have dedicated my life to ridding the world of fuckboys like you. Jesus, you're insane! I'm not insane, I'm a doctor! No, don't you see? You've become everything you hate. What? You've been blaming fuckboys for your problems when the truth has been right under your nose the whole time. Your wife's just a hoe. And you, you can't blame the player if you don't play the game. <laughs> My god. You're right. How could I have been so blind? Perhaps I was wrong about you two. You are not fuckboys. Yeah, we're fuck men. But no! Don't you see? The real problem here is that we're all too obsessed with labels. Doctor... Fuckboy, 
Skinky ass ho. It's all the same. Just labels. Buying into labels and hiding behind titles as an identity only gives more power to those who wish to divide us. I think what we really need to do here is focus on the one label that unites us. People. We're all just people. <laughs> that was beautiful. You two should go. Spread your message. Be the change that you want to see. Be the change that you want to see. Be the change. Labels are bad for you and me. Be the change. God damn it.